Hello and you're very welcome to another video in our series on Unit 4 for Leaving Certificate Business and in this video we're going to start looking at some liquidity ratios. We're going to look at the current ratio formula, then we're going to calculate the current ratio using, uh, using you know, a sample question as I say, and then we're going to look at what the trend of a current ratio means or what current ratios actually mean in general when we look at the figures. So first thing, if just a general point or two about liquidity ratios and what they are, because they're our first liquidity ratio, okay? What is liquidity, okay? Well, uh, by definition, it's the amount of liquid assets the firm has. Has. Um, liquidity refers to cash okay how liquid some a business is is basically how much cash they have or, or they're able to get okay liquid assets is basically an asset is something you own okay uh, so for example you might own a car like you, you or your parents might own a car or own a house okay so they would be their assets so to speak you might own a PlayStation or Xbox for example or a musical instrument and um, so for a business an asset is something they own and a liquid asset is something they can turn into cash so for example if I have some money okay uh, let's say for example I have a 20 euro note then that is a liquid asset to me that is something or ten, there's 10 euro there for example okay that is a liquid asset to me because I own it and it's in cash well hey happy days okay so a liquid asset is something you can turn into cash quickly in other words things they own that can be used to pay their debts okay the more liquid a company is the more likely it is to pay its debt so in other words the more cash or things that can turn into cash quickly the more likely it is to be able to pay its debts uh, the ratios that we look at our liquidity ratios look at the ability of the firm to pay its short-term debts so in other words how how well the business is able to pay what it owes when they could when it has to be paid so let's get stuck into our first ratio uh, so actually sorry no we're not that's a lie we look at solvency in other words you might hear a lot of solvency okay solvency is a, basically how a business can survive and it looks at the idea of assets and liabilities so assets is what a business owns a liability is what it owes in other words what it has to pay so if it, if a business has more assets so things it owns or over what it owes over liabilities then it is solvent okay you might have heard a business go becoming insolvent okay that basically means its liabilities are bigger than its assets okay in other words it owes more money than it's able to pay back with what it owns basically okay so a high ratio in our liquidity ratios is a good thing okay just to be aware of that if it's too high then the firm is making inefficient use of resource so if it's got too much liquid assets too much cash lying around the place basically then it's not making efficient use of resource in other words they could invest some of that money to be making even more money for the business okay so just to be aware of those general points let's get stuck into the current ratio now the working capital ratio and the formula for this is really straightforward it's our current assets to our current liabilities okay we'll look into what that means uh, later in the video so let's say in this video our current assets is 660,000 our current liabilities is 260,000 can you calculate the current ratio for this so it's literally it's it, this is really a ratio uh, as I say so we're putting this into a formula so 660,000 to 260,000 now with all our liquidity ratios all our ratios is something is to one okay so we need to turn that 260,000 into being a one how do we do that well we divide 200 uh, by 260,000 so if we're dividing the right hand side by 260,000 we also divide the left hand side by 260,000 so whatever that figure on the right is we're dividing with the left and right side by that okay put that into your calculator and very simply you get an answer of 2.5 is to one okay and that is how you calculate the current ratio now what do, what are current assets and what are current liabilities okay current assets well asset is something you own okay and current think of you know current expenditure that we would have talked about before current refers to day-to-day -day, okay so these things in things you own on a day-to-day -day basis okay so like something you know, what's in your bank account your cash you have those type of things current liabilities but well, we already know liability is something you owe something you're liable for current again is day-to-day -day. so these are bills you have to pay on a day-to-day -day basis okay so you have to pay for your rent or mortgage regularly your wages regularly your light and heat regularly those type of things so your day-to-day -day bills you owe versus the day-to-day -day money you have okay so in this case uh, let's now look at uh, analyzing what this means the recommended ratio is between one and a half is to one and two is to one now different textbooks will differ on what they say for that but it's between the two of those so what that means we say it shows the firm is able to pay its day-to-day -day costs of running the business what it means in plain english for every euro the firm owes it has x amount of euro and liquid assets to pay it back so in the example question there it was 2.5 to one so that means for every euro that firm owed it had two euro fifty in liquid assets um as in things a business owned that was either in cash or easily able to turn to cash uh, to pay it back 
Okay, so a higher current ratio is always more favorable than a lower current ratio because it shows the company can more easily pay current debt payments. So if the current if the current ratio is getting bigger, then that's a good thing. Okay, the key thing is though, if it's getting too big, you need to make the comment that it's gone over the recommended ratio, and maybe the business should look at possibly investing some of its liquid assets uh, in order to get a better return. For the business. So folks, that brings us to the end of today's less, uh, video, where we've looked at what the current ratio formula is, we've done to calculate the current ratio, and we've analysed the trend of the current ratio. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and it all made sense. If you have any questions, ask below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, why not give the video a like? And of course, you know where the button is over there. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye now.